so when it gets warmer and warmer in the spring slash early summer, uh, we have to do some preventative management to our covered structures, so our greenhouses and such, so they don't get too hot because when the temperatures outside start becoming about 80 degrees, you know, roughly consistently and the nights, you know, are getting close to 60s consistently, you know, the greenhouses, the high tunnels, those covered plastic structures really don't have, they, they have a harder time keeping up cooling because the outside temperature is physically warmer than the temperature the greenhouse is trying to cool itself. So um, motors are constantly running more uh, or just constantly running and you know that creates wear and tear on that machinery but it also just creates a hotter environment for the plants that we don't want to introduce them to. Um, our ideal you know greenhouse is anywhere from 75 to 80 degrees on a given day. So what do we do to combat that? There's two options that I that we use here on the farm. One is kind of an upfront initial cost, but will save you, you know, money for the long haul. The other is a yearly expense, if you will, that you're going to incur every year. The first product I want to talk about, I don't have in front of me yet, but um, when we use it, I will do a quick video on it. But that is shade cloth. Um, it's a it's like a nylon material, um, woven material. It lets light pass through it at a given amount, if you will. So I have a 30% shade cloth for our high tunnel tomato production crops. You have to consider the plastic gives a certain amount of shade, although it's heating the structure itself, it's also creating a certain amount of shade. So each plastic layer creates X amount percentage of shade. So considering a type of shade cloth, you wanna consider how much shade you're actually looking for and consider if you have a single or double layer of poly on your greenhouse and add all that up. So that's one option. And that's something that you can purchase for the length of your high tunnel or your greenhouse. And that'll be an upfront cost that you're gonna buy once unless something happens to it. You know, I, I honestly think the price is worth it, um, especially if you're going to use the structures for years and years to come. This isn't a product that you're going to leave on all season. And as long as you secure it and you take care of it and it doesn't get dirty or damaged, it'll last quite a while. You know, probably, I don't know the lifespan on the specific one I have, but I would say at least 10 to 20 years without, without a problem. So that's option number one. Option number two is this stuff called Cool Ray, liquid shade. And what this is, it's a different type of shade product. It's a, a kind of like chalk material almost, um, all environmental, environmentally friendly. And what this does is you actually, this is a concentrated version here. So this gets diluted into water and it can be applied a couple ways. You can either brush it on, you can spray it, uh, you can roll it on. But what you'll do is you'll take this chalk concentrate, you'll dilute it in water. And what we do is we spray it over the greenhouse. And this, this gives, I would say season long lasting of shade um, throughout the year. And this stuff isn't cheap. It's probably like 20 to $30 a gallon. I can do two gallons roughly with my greenhouse, a little more. But again, this is only lasting a year. So if I'm spending anywhere from, let's say $50 a year on this Cool Ray shade, uh, liquid, liquid shade, the spray on kind. I want to say I bought my shade cloth for one of our my other high tunnels. This was like four years ago now for like, I want to say somewhere not, no more than $500, um, which sounds like a lot. And so you do the math, you know, that's what's that 10 years right there, you know, per tunnel. So, you know, I think they, they are similar in cost probably if you look at them over the years, but I definitely think the shade cloth itself is more of a benefit of price wise down the line. But there's two reasons I use this on my greenhouse and not uh, the shade cloth is one, my greenhouse has a roof vent. So applying a shade cloth over my greenhouse, especially if I want to utilize the roof vent, roof vent really makes that difficult. Um, I would need two pieces of shade cloth technically to do that properly. 
and that comes to a big issue with fastening and and securing that so what we do is we we mix this up into our sprayer we dilute it and we use our sprayer luckily has a little gun on it right here a little spray tip gun and we just literally spray the greenhouse away and we coat this surf we coat the whole surface of the greenhouse so we'll, we'll start at the top of the greenhouse and we'll work all work our way down it also will trickle down the greenhouse um there's different amounts of shade you can actually give depending on the dilution you want to do and you know it's all depending on what you're looking for so i usually do the little lesser of the dilution because i don't need to have a heavy heavy shade on there we're just trying to cool the structure down a little overall we use a ladder to get up tall because i'm short and this will only shoot about i don't know 10 15 feet thankfully the wind's not blowing today so that'll help a lot uh from keeping it just going onto the greenhouse but um you take your time do your math do with the calculations of what your sprayer if you're going to use that um if you want to roll it on i've never tried it i don't recommend it i think it would take quite a long time to do that so let's get the sprayer all filled up with the concentrate and let's get to spraying